The PBA does not know what to do. Jason Belmonte is running scared. Why watch another video of him or professionals like him showing their elite skills when you can watch me suck at bowling? Welcome to the fourth and final week for October 2020's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, coming to you from Gardner Tempins in Gardner Hay, Massachusetts. We've had our typical starts in the low hundreds and climbed our way up, and climbed our way up again to a 139, just short of average skill ability. Can we keep that up? Are we going to fall back down? We'll only know once we tell you that... Watch Me Suck at Bowling is proud to sponsor the hit Candlepin TV show, King of the Palace, whenever it comes back. Type King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar and watch your heart's content. If you like what you see, go to youtube.com slash newpalacelanes. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to see new videos when they come along. And now, time for Ten Pin and the train wreck trying to do good. Last game, frame one ball. In spite of how quiet the music is, it is recognizable and therefore most of the audio is muted. There goes the ball, looking pretty good! And we got eight of them. For those of you who like the pin setters, here's the AMF clearing away the deck. Nothing really there, but it did it anyway. And there you go. Ball two. 25% of the lane will get us a spare. 60% will get us at least one. There goes the ball. And we find the gutter instead for the eight. And once again for the pin setter fanatics, here's the AMF clearing the deck and putting a fresh set of 10 down. And there you go. Frame two, ball one. We tied with the best start so far, which is kind of sad. There goes the ball, it's off to the left, and we only get three. Ball two. Again, typical seven pin leave in which could be a good spare. There goes the ball, but when you're off to the right, not so much, and it's a six. Not a very good start. Even for candle pin bowling, which is a lot harder, not very good. Eight and one. Six and two, 14. Frame three, ball one. The way things are going so far, this is going to be by far the worst game. There goes the ball, it's off to the right, and somehow got seven. Ball two. Well, this three pin combo is much easier to get in 10 pin. Still not looking forward to trying to clear it. There goes the ball, looking good, and a spare. Frame four, ball one, El Stinko. What will the bonus be? Hopefully it's good. Help make up for the first two frames. There goes the ball, looking somewhat good, and a six fill. Ball two. Left side mini rail and the eight pin. A little difficult to get. There goes the ball. It's heading in the right direction, leaving the middle finger for nine. Things went a little better this time, although we're still struggling a little. We got the spare in three, nine and four, the first ball knocking down six for the fill, 39. Frame five, ball one. Let's see if we can continue this improvement. Although it's a little slow, but it's heading in the right direction. Like that ball. A little thin, but a strike. Frame six, ball one, two all stinkos. What will they add up to? Things have definitely been getting better as we go along. There goes the ball. Looking good again, and we got a double. Talk about improvement. We got a double strike. We are at at least a 69 with two more El Stinkos to come. Can we get a turkey? Let's find out. Frame seven, go one. Ball one, going for the turkey. Will it happen? Let's hope it does. It's been quite a while. We've done it a couple times. 
There goes the ball. It's looking pretty good. And no, it did not happen. First El Stinko deserves to be called that for screwing me out of the turkey. On the other hand, we could still get a spare, and that'll still be good for the score. There goes the ball. It's looking pretty good, and we got it. Frame 8 ball 1, El Stinko. What will the bonus be? Can we get back up on the high horse, or is things going to be back to normal? There goes the ball way off to the left, and skunked. Ball two. Hopefully we can get a spare. Not very likely, but you never know. There goes the ball, it's off to the left, and we get six. Then the great collapse happens. We got the spare in seven, and a lousy six and eight, and not a single pin fell on the first ball. 104. Frame nine, ball one. Just like in the beginning of this particular game, can we pick it up? Let's find out. There goes the ball. It's looking pretty good, and almost. Ball two. The seven pin stands alone. A third of the lane will make a spare happen. There goes the ball, and we get it. Last frame, ball one. It's also El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? So far, it's looking pretty good, and yikes. At least an eight, Phil. Let's get it done. Leave it to the professionals to be able to clear this split. So let's see which one we will try and get. Looks like the one on the left. And that was actually pretty close. Niner. Looks like we finished decently. We got a spare in 9. And then a 9 in 10. The first ball knocking down 8 for the fill. Once again, close to average skill, but not quite there. A 131. That's pretty good. Typically, the last game is a major flop. Not this time. And that'll be it from Gardner Tenpins. Can you believe next month's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling is the fifth anniversary of the show? And where else do we shoot the anniversary shows but at the place where it all started? Masons in Lemonster, Massachusetts. So how will the fifth anniversary go? Will it be spectacular, or will it pretty much be the same as it's always been? There's only one way to find out, and that's to tune in. This is George F551 saying hope you enjoy, and have a good one.